it going, everybody? It's me, Assassin101 here, and today we are doing my top five favorite maps on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. If you want me to do one on, like, World at War Zombies, even though it can't be a top five, it can be, like, a, I don't know, like, not World at War Zombies, but, like, Black Ops 1 Zombies, or, you know, something like that. Or if you just want me to do one, like, in all, and all zombie maps that I've played, then just put that down in the comments, and I'll do that. But coming in at our number 5 spot, we have this beautiful map right here. You're probably wondering why I like Nuketown that much, just because a lot of people hate it. And I understand why, so I'm not going to go into much detail with that. But the one main reason that I love Nuketown so much is, it, it's just nice. It's, op it's open, but then it's also close. It's what I can ask for, and it's not too hard, and it's not too easy. It's like... It's a little bit easy, it's not super hard, but, you know, it's it's in those little spots up in the tops. It's okay. And I just really like it. The one thing that people don't like about it that I can understand, but it doesn't really bother me, is the fact that the perk drops fall from the sky, which I don't understand why people, like, don't like that. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't like it either, but people just don't like it that much that... I'm not saying this is like an extra transit, because it is not like transit. Don't even get me started with that. But, you know, it's just people don't like it. Map, this map like that much at all. Like, they really kind of hate it just because of how they made it. And I think that the additional thing from the falling from the sky is pretty cool and stuff like that. But it, it's kind of like Die Rise, and Die Rise wasn't a fan favorite either. And it's actually not one of my favorites. I don't have the DLC. That's the only DLC that I don't have on Black Ops 2. But I, I actually kind of don't want to get it. Just because Die Rise, I, I don't like it at all. So I'm not really planning on getting it. If you want me to, I'll, I'll try and pull some strings to try to. But, you know, that's not my say. So, and stuff like that. So you gotta, you gotta understand if I say that I can't get it. So, you know. So, yeah, this was Nuketown Zombies. This was the number five spot of my top five favorite list on Black Ops 2 Zombies. So, yeah. Coming into the number four spot on our list, we have Mob of the Dead. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't put this on a higher spot on the list. Well, it's just because Mob of the Dead, I haven't explored much of it. I haven't even gotten to pack a punch on this game. I've only gotten to, like, the docks and stuff like that. I've gotten the Hell's Retriever, good thing, but I've actually only used it once. Just because the highest that I've gotten, um, when I, the highest that I've gotten, I had to leave. So, you know, like, it, I didn't, I didn't get to do much. But, I like Mob of the Dead, but then I don't. I don't like it because of the uh, fact that, you know, you get Afterlife. But then I also like Afterlife, just because, you know, Afterlife is kind of like an extra helping hand or whatever. And it's kind of like, if you get down, it'll help you. It's kind of like having a free quick revive, if you get what I'm saying. And then you can get quick revive if you're on solo, so that's like two down thingies. But the afterlife, it's also for like, if you need any, um, if you want to use like the shocker thingy, whatever that thing is called, I can't really remember. Um, the after, yeah, that's what it's called, afterlife, where there's these little boxes right here. You could just enter to hold afterlife you get shocked and then boom you become one of my ghosts or whatever but the only the only reason that i do not like this map is because of the fact that one i haven't explored lots of it and two because of the fact of how dark it is and it kind of scares me like i'm gonna be real honest here it scares me now i, I don't know like y there's the haters out there who are, uh, out there who are like Pff, yeah that definitely scares you. But frick, look at this zombie right here. He has chains inside of his body. You cannot say that that isn't freaking scary. They're coming out of his arms. Like, my god. And Brutus, I think he's a nice addition. Like, don't get me wrong, he's nice. And I like how it's all set up right here. Like, escape plan and, you know, stuff like that. And you got, like, the maps and stuff. But... I just, I just don't like it that much, but it's okay, but it's not my favorite thing right here. It's not my favorite, 
but that's why it comes down to the number four spot on our list. Coming into the number three spot on our list, this is one of my favorites, but I only decided to put it in the number three spot just for a couple of reasons. It's buried. Now, the reason that I didn't put it at number one is because of how easy it is. I don't play buried as much. Like, I play it, but it's not like I don't play it constantly, but it's my go to DLC that I play. Now, I like buried just because of how easy it is. Like, I can get to, like, a high round easily, especially where Jug is at. And if you're a, um, if you are a newbie and you play Buried, I definitely, like, if you're a newbie and you see, like, you want to get a DLC, like, you've played Town, you played Farm, you played Transit, um, and you want to play a DLC and you're a newbie and you don't know much about it, uh, about this game or this mode, definitely get buried now there is a lot of stuff to do and it's basically like if you want to just go and play it like regularly then you can play it regularly and like nobody will judge you or like once you get to that advanced spot you could do the easter egg which is cool so it like when you um how would i explain this when you grow the game grows if you get what i'm saying like if you get if you're a noob you could just do the basics of this of this um map or, if you're good at it, you could do, like, all the, um, not glitch. Yeah, you could do all the glitches. You could do all the Easter eggs. And you could just do a whole bunch of stuff like that. I just really like this map a lot. And that's why it goes down into the number three spot. And you're probably wondering where I'm, what spot I'm playing at right now. This is the starting room. I really like it. And then you're probably wondering, well, how do you get down to the regular stuff? Well... Just go down here. You don't have to dolphin dive. I just like dolphin diving. It's really easy. See, boom. It gives you a thousand points. Like, the freaking chalk, dude. I love the chalk. The chalk is my favorite. Boom. You get a thing. You can either buy the wall gun, but I don't recommend it. You can get quick revive, but, you know, on this map, you should probably save up for something else. And then you got the box. You got the Mark II. The Mark II is insanely good. I'm not saying that I'm going to get the Mark II right now because I'm probably not. Got the DSR, but it, this is a great map, and then Leroy just makes it a lot easier. It's just a great map to do, and if you're probably wondering what Leroy is, it's basically just this friendly giant who's really nice to you, and you, he breaks all the barriers for you, which is really cool. All you gotta do is give him some booze and stuff like that. You can find him on his table or in the bar. Just give it to him, and he'll break that stuff right there. I just really like this map buried. That's why it comes on to the number three spot. Coming into the number two spot is one of my favorite DLCs by far. We have Origins. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why I love Origins. Now, it's easy, but then it's hard. It's close quarters, but then it's not. It's a big map. I just love it. It, like I said, it grows with you. It's like Buried, but with more of a challenge, and there's, like, an actual boss. Like, on Buried, there's the witches, but they're not a boss. They're just, like, they're to screw up your day. But there's the Panzer Soldad on here, which he actually is a boss. Like, you're all like, okay, you guys, we gotta save up. We gotta get ready. We gotta get ready for round eight, because on round eight, the Panzer Soldad is coming, and he's just gonna wreck your day, son. He's not... He's not going to give you an ice cream Sunday after. He's just going to give you a pat on the back and say, Good job. I'm coming back for your next round. You're like, Hold on, I'm out in here next round. And yeah, he comes like every three rounds after round eight. It, it really sucks, but you know, you got to deal with it. Don't be a crybaby. Uh, he, I just really like this map. And that's why I put it on the number two spot on our list. Just because, it, like this map, it's claimed to be the beginning where... Like, everything started where the group met. And, you know, you just gotta give it credit for that. Like, it's not just a normal map where, like, just Treyarch created it and you're just meant to survive and stuff. It has good Easter eggs. It has a pop-up and stuff like that. I really like the pop-up. And there's a lot of different things on here that I like about this map. And I just really love it in general. And that's why it comes down to the number two spot on our list. Coming into the number five spot on our list, you guys are probably going to get shocked, but 
it's town. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why I like town. The first one is because it's one of the first maps that I've played. It's easy, it's for noobs, but it's not easy as buried. Now, it's basically just a basic map. It, they have all the um, regular perks in it. That's why I love this town. It's amazing. You got everything right in front of you. All you need is the points, if you get what I'm saying. And you can survive to a really high round on this map. You just got to think about it and stuff like that. It, it's really fun, and it's really easy map. It's g the best training map ever. Like, zombies may come. May come. You're just sitting there like, oh, zombies are coming? Okay, that's that's cool. It's not going to be a challenge for me, though. All the all the perks are right here, and it gives you the, um, it lets you actually um, pack a punch right easily, and it's just really fun, and it lets you set the type of round you want to start on. So if you want to have, like, a challenge and start around, like, 20, you can do that, or you can start around 5 or 10 or 15, or you just start in round one, like basic person. You know, just want to start up from all those points and stuff. And that's why I like it. But it's just cool, and it's also not a DLC. That's especially why I like it. It's a really easy map. I just really recommend it. Again, like I said, great for training. And they have pretty good guns on this map that you can pack a punch and they'll turn into complete beasts and stuff like that. And that's why I just love it. I love this map, and that's why it comes into the number five spot on our list. It, it just, we just need to stop and think about this map for a moment. This map doesn't get as much as it deserves. This map is, like, not the starter, but it's a good map. Like, not a good map. It's a great map. Now, if you guys don't know, this is my personal opinion. If you don't like town, that's your opinion. Put down in the comments what you guys think that your favorite map is or what you guys like as a map. But for me, it is definitely town. I just love town. If I get a good gun, I could just soar through the rounds like nothing's going on. I'm just sitting there eating my bag of Cheetos and stuff. Like, oh yeah, this is nice. And I can survive with double tap. I don't even need jug. I can just get double tap and like be on my way. That's why I love it so much. That's, that's just why I love this map so much, and that's why it comes into the number one spot, you guys. I hope you guys liked my list, and if you guys want to tell me what your favorite map is, put down in the comments, and like always, stay frosty, everybody.